Today we're going to be discussing the RTH or the return to home feature. In this video I'm going to show you what happens in different scenarios when you use the RTH or the return to home feature. The first test we're going to do is activate the return to home feature from an altitude of 3 meters. In the case that return to home is activated when you are below 20 meters, the drone will ascend to 20 meters from its current altitude at 1 meter per second and when it reaches 20 meters it will fly back to its home position at a speed of 8 meters per second. Once the drone returns to its home position it will descend to an altitude of 1 meter and hover. The next test we're going to do is test the return to home feature above 20 meters. Now because we know that the drone will always ascend to 20 meters, what is it going to do when we are flying above 20 meters? Will the drone fly back at its current altitude and then descend to 1 meter then hover? Or will it descend to 20 meters and return to home at an altitude of 20 meters? Let's find out. So, as we can see, the drone does in fact return at the same altitude that it is at when it is above 20 meters. Now that we know that the drone will ascend to 20 meters when you are below 20 meters and fly back at the same altitude when you are above 20 meters. So what happens if you start at the top of a hill or a mountain and you fly your drone downwards, gaining a negative value in the altitude reading. Will it come back at that same altitude? Or will it rise to 20 meters? Or will it get confused and not return? Let's find out. Now that we've got to our test position, we're now going to activate the return to home. Now let's see what happens when we activate return to home. Was it what you expected? Well it did ascend to 20 meters regardless of it being at a negative altitude. So this means if you fly downwards into a valley from a high position, when you activate return to home, the drone will ascend past the negative values onto a positive 20 meters above your takeoff position and return home to you. Please remember that you can always deactivate the return to home by using any control inputs on your joystick or on your touchscreen or simply pressing the return to home button again. I hope this video shows you the different results in using return to home in different situations and gives you peace of mind when you use the return to home knowing exactly what it does in that situation. Below 16 feet or 4.87 meters, the positioning system relies on the vertical camera and the ultrasound or the sonar which is located on the bottom of your drone. If you turn your drone upside down, you will see the camera and the ultrasound sensor. Now, below 16 feet, this is what it uses to determine its position on the ground, its speed and its altitude. The vertical camera takes an image every 16 milliseconds and compares it to the previous image to determine its speed and position relative to the ground. 
because the low altitude positioning and height system has its limitations above 16 feet or above 4.87 meters the systems are switched and it uses the gps module with the glonass system on it with a barometer mounted to the front of the system sensing air pressure and this determines the altitude above 16 feet or 4.87 meters I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you need any technical information, please write them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them when I get them. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.